I am going to talk about Selex or Simple Seal. In the Tremco product line, we had a product called Simple Seal years ago. We made it in uh, our Ashland facility in Ashland, Ohio. Uh, it was the extruded silicone sheet. Now, we have purchased a company in uh, northern Michigan. So I say it's cold in Cleveland. These guys really know how cold it is because they're about 400 miles due north of me. Tremco bought Selex on April 1st, 2016, and we bought this manufacturing facility and all of their staff that came with it too. It's a 12,000 square foot facility, and what they do is make extruded silicone sealants and uh, pre-cured profiles. I have some samples here. I'm going to pass out the, uh, the smaller ones right now, just so you guys can get a look and uh, touch and feel what I'm talking about. Here, the rest of that side, and I'll walk over there. Okay. Here you can see, I'm going to pass them out right now, just the, uh, the silicone strips. There you go. These pre-cured silicone sealants were developed in the early 90s by a gentleman named Peter Hagen. Peter is no longer a part of the, uh, the Selex or Simple Seal family. Uh, he has since retired. His son, Robert Hagen, now is the operations manager for Selex. So he like, was working there since he was a kid. I think he has a pretty good understanding of uh, everything that Selex capabilities have. Uh, this is a unique extrusion process for moisture curing liquid silicones. It's specifically developed for the repair of failed sealant joints. So if you have a vertical sealant joint that has failed in a building, instead of necessarily having to come in, cut out, prep the substrate, and then uh, recock it, you could apply this over the failed sealant joint. Uh, this is very popular in uh, applications with EFS. And for those of you that don't know what EFS is, EFS stands for Exterior Insulation Finish System. It's similar looking to stucco, um, except there is insulation, and then there is uh, a cementitious adhesive holding the insulation in place, and then there is a cementitious coating that's put over top of that insulation. I don't know how big that is in this market, but we'll get to some other applications here in a little bit where the Simple Seal or Selex product has had success. Um, as I said, used in countless other applications. What it is, it's an extruded silicone sheet. Well, uh, I have some other samples I thought. I'll find them in a second. Uh, it's an extruded silicone sheet. It's fully cured, ultra low modulus, so you can stretch it. Um, Quite a bit. We also have a heavy duty one too. No, I, I had the one where it was connecting a piece of metal and, oh, it's a, underneath those. Just pass those out and they can see for the application. There's two of them. If you want to pass them out, please. It's uh, essentially what we call a bridge joint. We have, like I said, those are just regular uh, simple seal cutouts, but we have heavy duty ones um, that are much, much more robust. Where would you want to use the Spectrum Simple Seal or Selex product? If you have joints that are degrading in your facade, in your building, you could just take this and apply it as a Band-Aid over top of the, uh, the failed joint. If you see situations where you have adhesive and cohesive failure with the highest end sealant that you could have, I would suggest giving the uh, Selex product a try. One of the, uh, the big applications where we really like this is seismic situations because in a sealant joint, sealants don't tend to handle shear movement as well as they do elongation. So if you take, Matt, hand me that, just real quick. So not only does the Selex product stretch this way, it also stretches this way. So if you're in an area where you have a lot of active seismic movement, the Selex product is a great product for your application. Also, if you have uh, major hurricane type situations too. If you just use a regular sealant to come in and repair, you could cut it out, recock it with a similar material, material, and eventually you're going to have that same problem if you use a similar type of material. If you cut out and recock with a different type of material, hopefully you don't have that issue, but you don't know until time passes. Or what you could do is use the Simple Seal Overlay product type system. Here you can see a cross-sectional view of what it would look like over a failed joint. We have the sealant and back the rod from a failed joint. 
And then here we have the Simple Seal, Selex product, bridging both sides of the joint. To adhere that, you're going to use our Spectrum 1 silicone sealant as the adhesive for this. It also saves you on the labor perspective too because you're not having the guys come in, cut out, recaulk, I'm sorry, cut out, surface prep, recaulk, you're just coming in right over top of everything. So it saves you on the money end of the uh, restoration. Just some quick physical properties on this. You don't need a mechanical fasteners. It saves you the labor of the cutout, surface prep, and recaulk. Uh, great flexibility, multi-directional. I saw you guys saw that I sheared it and stretched it this way. Um, I showed you the knotty tear. This is one of the unique characteristics of um, the Celex Spectrum Simple Seal and the Spectrum One silicone sealant. That's what I was trying to convey to you yesterday about knotty tear. So I had said uh, earlier on in the presentation. This is typically used for a facade, the, the face of the building, uh, uh, connecting windows to that face. The, real quick, the heavy duty one that we talked about, you can use on a uh, metal roof type application where it's sloped. But I would not recommend you to use it on a flat horizontal traffic area. You're using the uh, silicone spectrum one sealant to adhere. So you can use it on brick, stucco, um, eaps, brick, I said brick, um, concrete, cinder blocks, whatever you would, I, obviously we're going to recommend doing an adhesion test with the spectrum one, but wherever you would use the spectrum one and you have a joint, go ahead and use it. It's, uh, it's a silicone, extruded silicone product, so it should not be on horizontal application, so it should be vertical. So I'm not sure how much vertical exposure to chlorine you would see, but it would handle a comparable amount to uh, our silicone sealants, which is um, splash and spill, not continuous immersion in chlorine situations. This is more for a expansion joint that has failed than a crack in the facade. So I will show you some pictures of the application. And we do also have uh, textured versions of this too. So it would match a stucco facade. Here is a picture that maybe this might help understand a little bit about the application of the product. This is a window mullion and a, a stucco facade. The sealant had failed between the window mullion and the stucco facade. So the Simple Seal, Selex product, came in, installed sealant on both sides, and installed it to connect the window to the facade. So here is an example of an application where we had sealant joints that had failed. This was a project in Minnesota with stucco. You can see all the de deteriorated sealant, water infiltration, exfiltration. And then you can see they came in and patched it. They bridged over that failed sealant joint with the Selex Simple Seal. It's not for use with the Vulcan coating system. It's for use in your facade of your building. So the only way it would come into the contact with the Vulcan coating system would be if you did an upturn, if you came from the floor up and you had a joint and you connected it. So just, does that answer your question or? Okay, provide some clarity. These are pictures from that project. You can see they came in and fixed it watertight now. Different applications where you could use the Spectrum Simple Seal. You could use it at control joints and parapets, over bridging failed expansion joints, connecting window systems again. Here's one with a uh, brick facade. As I was saying with the, uh, the textured question earlier, we can make this product in a textured finish. So it will seamlessly match your stucco or your Eves facade. 
One of the other cool things that we can do with the Celex product is we can incorporate these notches. These notches allow you to fold it. So what you can do is you can completely encapsulate a mullion for a window. And then you would, you would adhere the simple seal to the glass. And that rubber is protecting the mullion so there's no leakage anymore. We can even produce custom colors for you too. But for the custom colors, you need a five roll minimum order quantity. And so what you have to keep in mind too on top of these numbers here is the shipping to Latin America from uh, Michigan. But we can usually turn things around in three to five days plus the freight of the shipping time. And then if you have a, uh, if that's the approval for the color match, three to five days. But three week production lead time plus the shipping lead time to get materials down here if uh, the design is approved and production is started on it. Um, Matt, what's a typical freight time to get to Bolo uh, Bogota? Uh, one to two months. So add eight weeks on there, six to eight weeks, eight weeks. for getting material to, La to Bogota at least. I assume the farther north we go up, the shorter that lead time becomes. That's from shipment time. Not yes, from shipment time. So here is the available um, configurations that you can get in the simple seal. You can get it at one inch, one and a half, two, three, four, or six. What you can do too, and those are inches, so 25 millimeters, 36 millimeters, 52 millimeters, 75 millimeters, 102 millimeters, and uh, 152 millimeters are the sizes. And we keep those in stock in black, white, anodized aluminum, bronze and aluminum stone. If you have um, larger joints than that, talk to us. We might be able to make something work. Or you could just lap two of the seams together. Both of those are acceptable options. If you, you can order as small of a quantity of the stocked items as one roll. You don't need to order multiple rolls unless you have a specific uh, um, color request. Uh, for here's the special sizes and colors. We can make up to a 12 inch wide roll, uh, which I'll get into the uh, couple applications at the end where you would use a larger roll. We have all of this information available on our website as far as um, application instructions, data sheets, MSDS. However, at this time, they're all in English. Uh, I've passed around some samples that show different colors different widths, availabilities, um, and you can even, your Toximet rep could order these from the U.S. too to get to you. We can, uh, we can also provide samples for job site mock-ups if you're doing a large project, uh, so you don't necessarily need to order the whole roll. Here's some of the applications where the larger rolls come in handy. Uh, in this situation where we had to fit a corrugated metal panel, that's a 12 inch wide roll there connecting that coping stone. This would be a very challenging um, application for a peel and stick flashing, but with the Celex Simple Seal, bridging that gap was easy. We've used this for repair on metal roofs. Here you can see uh, an application where they came in and repaired this leaky, uh, leaky joint using the Spectrum 1 silicone sealant on both sides and then installing the uh, Celex product over it. Another application on a metal roof, this drain was leaking. They prepped the surface, installed the Spectrum 1 silicone sealant, cut a hole in the uh, Celex membrane. Because it doesn't exhibit that knotty tear physical property, they could stretch it. Remember, stretching it doesn't propagate that hole. And then they installed that under, they set it in the sealant and installed it. Again, another situation where you have difficult connections to make. You have a bandage piece in the corner, and you have a bandage piece on the uh, base, and then you come in with your runs on both sides to make that um, challenging corner. If you did that with a peel and stick, that would be extremely challenging to do. The nice thing is you can bend and mold and use this product uh, for applications like that. We have all of this information available on our website, um, and I hope this has created some excitement for you guys down here.